Hello. We're here in Taiwan server. I'll be teaching you how to become rich fast using life skill. So, let's open up our life skill panel. There's two section in life skill, gathering and production skill. In life skill we can earn a lot of crystals, so stay tuned while I explain it to you. First thing first. Life skills require to use stamina, and its consumption depend on what skill life you're going to use. Stamina can only be acquired in Odin's blessing, so be more wise to use it. Okay, let's start from production skill the smelting. You can vend the smelted materials through exchange center. It's more profitable and fast to sell, the only disadvantage is, it consume another extra 10 stamina. But on advantage side your smelting can level up and the higher type of smelting materials will be available which you can earn more. Here in smelting, you can make upgrade materials which require mining and fishing. The enchantment require mining and gathering. And refinement require only mining. By leveling your smelting you get access also to other kind of materials, such as tear up, crystal stone and silk. And some requirements for this are available in NPC. Let's go to the pit to mine. You can choose from using normal, advance or gold pickaxe to mine. Using advance can make you faster in mining, but it's more expensive than the normal axe. By using gold pickaxe it require a specific mining spot where you can get rare stone but, it's harder to mine there because player are competing in getting the stones. Most player prefer to directly sell to exchange center the raw materials so, instead of using their stamina to smelt, they just use it in mining. This way they can level up their mining skill. Giving more access to much more rare and expensive materials. Let me show you where to use the gold pickaxe where we can get rare materials. So, it's in here. Every time someone extracted a stone it will have a 1 minutes cooldown for the next attempt to mine. Let me show you the difference in using normal axe and advance. Slow. And fast. The mining materials are easy to sell to exchange center, because it's the requirements for smelting. So, if you're aiming to become rich, I would advise to focus on mining and sell it. Compared to fishing, there's more income in mining. Now let's explain alchemy. Merchant is the only job allowed to use this life skill. The product from alchemy can be sold in Prantara though then skill of merchant. This way merchant can earn fast zenny. Now let's go to fishing. It's also a good way to earn by vending fish into exchange center because it's in demand. Compared to mining it has low earning but you won't be having hard time to upgrade your equipments. Mining materials are easy to buy while fish has low stock in exchange and player are competing to buy first. The other advantage of fishing, you won't have trouble in providing gift to NPC quests. Disadvantage of choosing fishing it's hard to obtain an auto fishing rod and it consumed 10 stamina compared to mining where it consumed 2 to 3 stamina depending on its level. Auto fishing rod can only be bought from Xavier using fish coin. Using fish coin, you can also buy a lot of headgears. One of which is the frog hat. For you to get a fish coin, you need to quest to Xavier. It is also available for exchange, or you can sell this as an additional source of income. Let us try to buy this frog hat. There you go frog hat. In fishing, it's quite difficult to acquire rare fish, that's why you need to buy a bait using your zenny. Just remember, this will not give you an assurance to get 100% rare fish. Out of 100 baits, there is 60 to 70% probability of rare fish. That is why it's more advisable to check first at the exchange center the most expensive and the most in-demand fish, then proceed to fishing. Okay, let's get to gathering. Compared to mining and fishing, this is considered to be the most difficult and in demand compared to stone or fish. 
It's high income but time consuming and it's advisable that you should be aware of the weather in game, it's faster and easy to gather when it's raining. Breezy or sandstorm or else it's hard for you to compete with other player in collecting addition to that it's only available to gather in channel 1 it's definitely crowded. Gathering is so in demand for the reason of enchanting equipment. This give high bonuses stats that's why many player tolerate the hardship in collecting it. The consumption of stamina is 10 per gathering same as fishing. The combination of gathering and fishing make you able to cook food which also give high bonuses. The important is that you're happy and enjoying the whole game as it is part of entertaining us through game. So enjoy.